And so, away we go. It's a must-win for Ajax, it's a must-win for Alfred Schroeder. And the second half of the season begins for last year's champions, who are now eight points off the leaders. And their head coach is on unsteady ground, with the next four league games seen as vital to his future, starting right here tonight. And a good start, you feel, is oh so important, particularly on an evening where the pressure is really on everybody involved. It's almost a free hit for Volendam, who still occupy a place in the bottom three, albeit they are potentially only three points from safety. Really a night to make an impression for these Ajax players who have been so heavily scrutinised themselves, just like their embattled head coach. Now the time for talking is very much over. Here is Alvarez. Now Urian Timber. Divine Wrench back from a ban tonight, and that's a boost. He was sent off in the goalless draw here against Venter, but Ajax did pick up a, a gritty point and showed character away at Feyenoord in the Classica. That would have encouraged the hierarchy, no doubt. Is Alvarez. Now Kenneth Taylor, still just 20 years of age, but has made quite the mark, quite the impact on the first team this season. Timber. Alvarez who's slotted quite neatly back into that central defensive role, and of course he can play in midfield too. And this is Geronimo Rulli, the goalkeeper brought in from Villarreal. Taylor. Timber. Brian Brobby dropping very deep to receive possession. Hasn't scored since the World Cup. Now Klassen. Berghaus finding Dushan Taric. Hosted high towards Brobby, but that is easy for Filip Stankovic, the 20-year-old goalkeeper at Volendam. First sight of Alfred Schroeder in-game. He said this week, we're halfway through the season. I feel there's growth within the team. Feels like I'm the only person who can see it. it can be a lonely position being a manager under pressure. Brobby, though, looking to set away Steven Bergwijn. And coming across, Brian Platt did just enough. Two men with eight Eredivisie goals each so far this season, 16 between them. Volendam will sit deep and anything tonight that they can get in Amsterdam would be a huge bonus, of course, but there have been real cause for optimism for Wim Jonk in recent weeks. Those two league victories since the resumption of the Eredivisie after the winter. Timber. And now Bergwijn. Brobby, Klassen, Ajax trying to force their way through, Bergwijn couldn't do that. Well, you can see Ajax supporters are waving white handkerchiefs in the stands. Here is Tadic, swinging a lovely cross, and Brobby tried the spectacular, but couldn't reach it. Those white handkerchiefs, by the way, are usually a sign of the supporters wanting the current head coach to leave the club. A visual reminder for Alfred Schroeder of just how difficult 
his job is right now. It does look like large sections of the crowd have turned against him. Taylor. Bergwijn. Sitting with virtually everybody behind the ball, Volendam, as you would expect. It's certainly a back five, but they're not in possession. Bergwijn, though, has got past Platz and Brobby! Didn't get enough power behind the header. Davy Klassen was coming in behind him, and I think... Might have been a better option for Ajax. You can see Klassen arriving. Well, all he can do is keep working, and Edwin van der Sar and the rest of the... Ajax boards, you saw Klasian Huntela in your picture there too, will just have to monitor the situation. Big five. Trying to look forward towards Calvin Bassi. Message is a pretty clear one. <laughs> On by Timber, Robbie will chase it, and the defender, Damon Mirani, is able to see it back to his goalkeeper. trying to keep the tempo high in these early stages. Just five wins in 17 games in all competitions for Ajax. There's a foul by Calvin Twigt, who was born in Amsterdam Noort in the suburbs of the city. Taylor dropping deeper. Robbie had made a run through the middle, but Calvin Bassi is square. Had a lot of criticism himself this season, Calvin Bassi, for some of his performances. Taylor takes over. Berghaus. Looks again for Divine Wrench. Well defended, blocked off by Jet Derry John Merkin. Look for Gaetano Oristanio, but that was easy for Alvarez. And now Timber. at home for Ajax in the Odevisi. Their last home league win was on the 16th of October. And Oristanio looked like he was in an offside position, but Alvarez did well nonetheless. Alvarez. Taylor. Finding Timber, Ajax having almost all of the possession as you'd expect, but no penetration as yet. It really is a game where you feel the pressure is off Volendam entirely, nobody expects them to get anything. And they will certainly look to frustrate. De Silva with a risky pass towards Platt. It's come for Klassen, who scored in the Classica at the weekend. Robbie. Alvarez, urge 
to shoot and does. Tried to place it and didn't really get much power behind it. We also said earlier this week, Alfred Schroeder, everybody's allowed an opinion, but he believes the team has potential. That said, he understands the need for an upturn in results very quickly. Bringing it down neatly to put it forward towards Tadic. Must have got the faintest of touches off Josh Flint, the young defender, on his first Eredivisie start tonight. Gets it back from Carol Eiting, the former Ajax player. Josh Flint, who is an Englishman, started his career on the south coast at Portsmouth Football Club. Albassi, Bergwijn. Robbie and Tadic in the middle. Taylor. Change of play pace from Timber. Bassi forced to go backwards though. Pattern of play is most certainly set for the 90 minutes. Lovely flick by Brobby. Very nearly came through for Klassen. It's come back to Bassi. Bergwijn, Bassi, Klassen. Intercepted by Florent Sanchez da Silva. Certainly young Gaetano Oristanio. He's very much the lone centre forward for Volendam tonight. Well stretched, tricked with the intercept. It's come straight back though to Taylor. De Silva makes a tackle and the referee gives Ajax the free kick. Again, it's a really youthful 11, this Volendam side, almost in the tradition of some of the great Ajax teams of the past, but an average age of around 21 for a visit to the Johan Cruyff Arena. It's a, a bold selection from Wim Jonk, the boss maybe with half an eye on changes that he might have to make for the crucial home game against Groningen at the weekend. Oh, it's almost come through to Brobby, but is he for the goalkeeper, Stankovic? You do feel that that home match against Groningen to come is going to be absolutely vital for Volendam. It really feels like a must-win for them. Timber. He's played in every game in the Odovisi this season. Vimjonk. Von and Dam are his boyhood club. He also played for Ajax, an Eredivisie title winner in 1990, but actually in his pre-match press conference was speaking about his exciting matches here as a PSV player. Had two victories here at the Johan Cruyff Arena in the past. Scored in one of them as well. Back to the goalkeeper by Flint. Towering header by Alvarez. Slightly miscued by Mirani. Tadic, lofting it long, but well read by Xavier Mboyamba. Tadic to peel away from the defender and getting his cross in and Flint is there at the near post. Taylor. Berghouse across to Klassen. Calvin Bassi. 
trying to get tricked in a twist. And by Amber, he's there to clear. for the most part, camped in opposition territory. They are moving the ball at a decent pace, but it's never easy. And you've got ten away shirts in front of you virtually. Only Oristanio forward for Volendam, and he's hardly had a touch. Timber gets it back from Berghaus. Bassi, Bergvine. It's trying to find the right combination of intricate interplay. Alvarez, Klassen. Berghaus blocked off effectively enough and now Eiting. Flint. Merkin won the header, but easy for Timber to stride across in front of Oristanio. Now Tadic, there's maybe one or two gaps here for Ajax to exploit. First time really they've had that in the game. He's away from Merkin. Robbie tried to turn. Ember Yamba, but through it goes to the goalkeeper. Still those handkerchiefs being waved by some supporters. Timber, He's seen a lot of the ball so far. Volendam has been relatively comfortable across the first 18 minutes. Bergvine, one flurry of quality though for Ajax could change all that. Timber, a little flick from Tadic, blocked off by Mbuyamba. Wrench, Taylor, all a bit narrow this for Ajax. Very patient tonight. Will that patience be mirrored in the stands? You would think probably not, the longer it stays nil-nil. Bassi. Bergvine's made the run to the corner of the penalty area. Bassi gets beyond the silver. Berghaus, lovely ball. Bergvine couldn't reach it. M. Boyamba was there. And a terrifically timed tackle. Decent football from Ajax with very little room to really create space. Here comes Alvarez. Timber, the two centre halves, both forward. It's the first corner of the night. Steven Berghaus standing over it. Tadic has gone short. It is Berghaus, though, to loft it in high. And the goalkeeper makes a good save. Alvarez got his header to it initially. It's back with Berghaus. And Tadic is in behind again. And Ajax might be in behind again. Mboyamba climbing highest. That header from Alvarez came through a crowd of bodies. It may well have taken a slight deflection on its way through. Klassen and Tadic bringing it down. And Bergvine! And it took a huge deflection off Calvin Twix. But Ajax suddenly starting to pile on some pressure. 
Edson Alvarez has not scored since September. Might get another chance here. This time it's Tadic to swing one in. With the head of Timber, away by Dean James. comes Oristanio on the break and the pass is a decent one and James is suddenly clear decided to check back somewhat bizarrely and they go all the way back Volander and it was on his weaker side Merkin with the cross Oristanio went for an overhead kick and if we allows plays continue James crosses in and, and bravely punched away by Geronimo Rulli and they are furious with Dennis Higler, Yuri and Timber was caught. Great ball in from Derry John Merkin, then Aitano Oristanio, who has never scored an Eredivisie goal, went for something that would have been truly magnificent had he connected properly. Meanwhile, at the other end, best chance of the game so far. Alvarez and Timber was stretching. I'm not sure if he got a touch, though. It was a good save by Stankovic. That could be a nasty cut for Timber. I think Vim Yonk will be delighted with what he's seen so far. Imparting some instructions for Karel Eiting and co. This very young side, real faith put in them by their manager tonight. That was the attempt. Oristania obviously trying to go for the ball, but it's it's always risky. A crowded penalty box. spell of treatment for Yuri and Timber and understandably so one of the constants in Ajax's poor first half of the season they having made their worst start if you like worst first 17 matches since the mid-90s, 96-97. And this their worst run of results in the Eredivisie, no win in six since the late 90s, 98-99. They went on to finish sixth that year. Almost unthinkable that would be the case this season, but Feyenoord leading the way. RZ, PSV and Twente all ahead of his side. Crucial matches to come as well. And isn't it interesting to see some familiar faces watching on from the stands? Frank de Boer, who is a four time winner of the Odovisi as a head coach, five times as a player. Timber back up on his feet. Well, the rumour mill will really start to swirl, of course. 
a situation like this with the head coach's role seemingly unstable. We'll see what happens for Alfred Schroeder with those four league games. This is one of them. The other three, Excelsior and Cambour, both away from home. RKC here in Amsterdam, you'd expect Ajax normally at least to win all four. And they also have a cup match at Twente and a UEFA Europa League playoff game against Union Berlin to come over the next few weeks. Good to see Urien Timber moving OK again. Cut to his eyelid seemingly resolved. Taylor. A little break. I think we'll have done Volendam some good. A chance to just recharge the batteries for a moment. Tactically, they've been impressively set up so far, despite being very leaky, the worst defence in the Eredivisie so far this season. Coming into this game week. Robbie laying it back, Berghaus scooping it up towards Klassen. MB Amber was there once more, and it's away by James. Back in by Timber, but cleared further afield by Mirani. Mares cannoned off his own man, Berghaus. Nobody appeared to have any ambition of Volendam in the game other than to very much play on the counter attack, and even when they get possession, they're Largely just thumping it back to Ajax. Bergwijn. Timber. Klassen. Trying to spin and turn neatly. The key is surely keeping the tempo high. That's what Ajax are doing. Brobby looking towards Berghaus. Well covered by Calvin Pricht. Berghaus to loft in that delivery! And Robbie was jumping forward and good call by the goalkeeper, Filip Stankovic, to slow the play down. Berghaus has looked lively tonight. A couple of lofted balls through the middle and trying to turn provider from a, a wider position there. by Florent da Silva, who is on loan from Lyon, only recently joined Volendam. Robby trying to bully his way beyond Flint. He was caught by a retreating Dean James. and Timber forward again. It's Alvarez from a previous set piece. He's gone closest so far. Dusan Taric standing over it. Taric delivering dangerously, but a little too close to the goalkeeper. Beckhaus. Tadic, Klassen, Bassi. Almost has the feel of a training ground drill, this. Attack the defence. Timber. Platz only half away. Klassen going in. And free kick goes the way of Ajax. Against Brian Platz of Volendam. Tabby Klassen, who got that equaliser in the Classica at the weekend. Very different kind of game tonight for Ajax. <laughs> Tabby.
Tadic with the free kick and Calvin Bassi was up there. Well headed clear by Tvigt. Stanio can't reach it and Ajax will come again. Very rare touch so far for Geronimo Rulli. That said, just the one save that his opposite numbers had to make. Tadic with the quickly taken throw. Bergwijn is onto it, taking on Mbuyamba, and he skips past him with ease. Bergwijn tried to place it, and it was easy in the end for Stankovic. A fearsome change of pace from Steven Bergwijn, though. Here is Derry John Merkin looking for James. Back towards Merkin, Oristanio, the only man in the middle, and it's an excellently timed challenge from Wrench. Um, back at this level after promotion last season following a 13-year absence the last two seasons in the Eredivisie prior to this one both ended in relegation the last time they survived an Eredivisie season was in 1997 the early to mid 90s were their, their golden era really Bergwijn, Timber thought about taking aim finding Brobby but Smiled away by Tvigt. Tough for anybody to break down a, a back line set up as Volendam have tonight, but if Ajax do get the goal, they feel that they really may start to flow. What would Volendam's game plan be after that? Timber. Probably managing to find Wrench, and Dusan Tadic is in support. Keep the defender to it. Deliver effectively. Is Alvarez, Klassen, the 36-time champions just trying to probe a way through. Taylor, Bergwijn, a lovely change of pace again, and he's away from Eiting as well. Here is Dusan Tadic, good football this for Ajax. Tadic twisting and turning again. And he got the cut back all wrong. That's a foul on Taylor by Tvigt. Referee, I think, sensible with his decision not to award a yellow card. Taylor, Brobby trying to hold it up, smuggled away by Flint. Berghaus to Bassi. Bergwijn. Alvarez. Tadic. Berghaus. Mahrez has stayed forward for Ajax, Wrench is there to pull it back. Well blocked off by Flint. Ajax win their third corner of the first half. Tadic swings one in and flapped at by Stankovic, but he did enough. Bassi. See that Ajax are desperate just to keep the tempo up. 
Berghaus. Could be too much on that for David Klassen, indeed it is. Steven Berghaus not able to engineer a way through for Ajax so far. Good news for Alfred Schroeder and Ajax supporters is their prolific season in front of goal in the Odovisi. 46 goals so far this season. It's the most of any side in the league. PSV close behind. Big fine. Trying to drift beyond Platz and Bergvine was caught, probably held it up neatly though. Timber. Bergvine back on his feet. Tadic. Wrench with the overlapping run. Here he goes again and tracked all the way by Derry John Merkin. Corner headed clear by Flint and Volendam defending with real diligence so far. Robbie. Big house. And through towards Brian Brobby. Brilliant block by Mirani. And then Berghaus went for it again. And this time Flint was in the way. And finally Volendam were opened up in open play. But very quickly, those resolute Volendam defenders got themselves in the way. Bit of encouragement though for Ajax and for the crowd. Tadic. Klassen. Taylor. Here the square is Bergvine, now Timber. Calvin Bassi, Tadic, bounced off his knee. Berghaus, camped on the edge of the penalty area now. Berghaus again. Klassen. Berghaus with lots of time and space to swing that one in and headed clear by Tvigt. It's Divine Wrench, it's Steven Bergvine. Klassen, very little space for the shots. Way by Florent da Silva. Volendam have got to summon up epic levels of concentration, just mentally if they're to get through the game. Defending like this could be a long night for them. Bassi away from Tvigt. Delivery slightly miscued, but good enough that James had to head it behind again. Ajax do look a little more threatening now. Tadic with the corner, Bassi went up for it. It was brilliantly blocked off by Platt. The endeavour is clearly there from this Ajax side. Timber. Dude, the comfort and the relief. The goal they really crave, though. Tadic has made a run from right to left, but not that far left. Not your problem here for Merkin.
this was the first sight of goal that Brian Brobby has really had. It was a brilliant block by Damon Mirani. Sliding in and timing the challenge perfectly. He did have one header that was straight at the goalkeeper earlier, but that was a better sight of goal. Looks like Merkin's OK. by Flint, made by Bassey. Here's Alvarez. Kenneth Taylor, Berghaus and Buyamba with a firm challenge, firm but fair. Oris Danio is then fouled by Wrench. Ronald Danville, it may be a spoiling game, but it is effective so far. And credit to them, really, you wouldn't have expected them to make any other sort of approach. It's an understandable one. Remember, it is a Volendam side who have won two out of three in the league coming into tonight. Had it really tough, Vim Yonk's team, prior to that, prior to these two recent wins. Their only other league win came early on in the season, way back in August. Taylor. Big vine. Well seen by Merkin, who came across, and that was an important challenge from Wrench because Merkin had Oristanio make a decent run ahead of him, albeit, of course, a long way from goal. Timber. Robbie making the run through the middle. It's actually in an offside position in the end. Bassi. Taylor. That was ahead of him as well. Alvarez will strike one! Turned away by Stankovic, who maybe thought he should have held on to that. Didn't necessarily have Edson Alvarez as most likely to have the scoring chances for Ajax in the first half. He might get another here, though. Tadic with another corner. There is Alvarez, and it's onto the post, and somehow scrambled away by Flint. Well, how did that not go in? Alfred Schroeder will feel when your luck's against you. That's exactly what happens. And Ajax looked pretty luckless there. Meanwhile, here comes Brian Platts. That's a decent run, but well tracked by Taylor. Perhaps could have released the ball a little earlier, the defender. Taylor looking up the middle towards Brobby, but steered away by Mirani. Six added minutes at the end of the first half, of course, that long stoppage for Yuri and Timber. Now Dean James, only got Merkin at the moment in the middle. 
waited for the run of Twigt. De Silva. Seen so little of Volendam in possession. That's a pretty poor lunging challenge from James, but maybe Tadic made it look slightly worse than it actually was. Taric, Rich, Taric once again, which wasn't great. This was the closest that Ajax have come, Alvarez, and then the last touch, possibly off the defender, Klassen was stretching for it as well, certainly came off Mirani I think, and did Klassen get the faintest of touches on that? Try to poke it in. And Volendam survived, and well, maybe they deserve to. Yuri and Timber it was who was challenging with the defender Mirani. Bergvine able to beat Platt to that. Merkin towards Oristanio, and he's got there in front of Kenneth Taylor. Oristanio is into Alvarez. It's almost this sort of situation where Ajax need to really make the most of their possession with Volendam having players slightly out of position, though it hasn't taken long for most of them to track back. Bassi. Not sure what he was thinking there. Be very interesting to hear the reaction of the Ajax supporters at half time it does remain goalless Alvarez away by Flint well, that was a late challenge from Klassen Maybe looked well, that's at first glance that it actually was on Calvin Twig. How much contact was that? It's a painful one for the Volendam man, but not worthy of a yellow card, according to Dennis Higler. Volendam content to allow Ajax possession. Task set for the 36-time Eredivisie champions. Been able to break a very resolute side down. Volendam who moved up a place to 16th, the relegation playoff spot after that win for Cambour against Groningen earlier on. Klassen. Time certainly running out of the first half for Ajax. Tadic. Berghaus. Forward towards Bergwijn. The rather mutinous atmosphere continues in the stands. Massey, played by Embuyamba, a slip by Taylor. That 
will be hard for Volendam to replicate this in the second half, but they have done very impressively so far. Can they get themselves to half-time? They probably will. And James has looked for Oristanio, and well read by Geronimo Rulli. He certainly wouldn't begrudge a 0-0 scoreline at the break for the visitors who have really seized upon the frustration in Amsterdam at the moment. Wrench has got away from Merkin. Dusan Taric and Davi Klassen away by Mbuyamba. Will Ajax get time to take the corner? And they will not, is the answer. Half-time, and the frustrations continue for Ajax and for Alfred Schroeder.